We went out to a village in remote Malawi. We went into a little red brick schoolhouse and there found several hundred children, AIDS orphans, children with no parents who were being raised by their, the, uh, their uh, grandparents and their village elders in their, in their little town. And we passed food around as there was the clamor of, that would accompany th hundreds of kids confined in a small place. There were noises and laughter and some tears and the smells of Africa were there. And then suddenly uh, we started bringing the food into the room, the Vitameal, and putting it into, the, into little bowls and passing them through the audience. And these little hands would reach up and take these, these, these bowls and spoons and immediately just sit on the floor right where they were and ravenously start eating this this porridge and I can't, uh, I wish I could take you there with me, but the smell of that corn-based um, porridge and blended with the smell of humanity and in, the, in that little room was an experience that I think will stay with me forever. And then there was this, this uh, gripping moment when the food was that the bowls were being passed from hand to hand among the adults and handed down to these children and the hands are reaching up and we get back near the back of the room and, and somebody says, we're out of Vitameal. We, uh, that, that's, that's the last of it. And there were still children who hadn't eaten. And there's this, this, this gripping, I, I looked around, there's tears in everybody's eyes because we, uh, and got to the end of the row. I was fascinated that what happened next was the bulls got moved around and children started gathering around the bulls that were there and they shared with each other and everybody got something to eat in that room, it felt like. But just that, getting to that moment where we have so much, we know we have a warehouse full of vitamin meal, but we ran out right there at the wrong moment. And it was a very moving thing. I walked outside, um, to kind of collect myself and walked around the corner and looked out across the field of uh, this little African village and there's a trail heading out across the field and running down this trail were dozens and dozens of people running, women with little babies strapped to the backs, little children with a bowl in their hand running down this trail because word had gotten out into the countryside that uh, the vitamin meal was being, being dispensed and inside the room there was no food left. The, uh, the needs of, of Africa are profound and, and we, you know, that, that left me a little tearful, it leaves me tearful, you know, to retelling the story right now. But as I walked back into the room and kind of tried to assess the thing, I realized that in that setting with such desperate needs, still there were more smiles than tears. That, that the good we were doing was not enough to solve all of the world's problems, but there was joy there, there was happiness, there was laughter, and where there's joy and happiness and love and laughter, there's hope. And that hope that we created is something that I think the New Skin Organization should take great pride in. They are, they are bringing hope to not just a few, but to tens of thousands of people, day in, day out, month in, month out. And and I just have to believe that, that one day some of those children are going to grow up to be leaders that will, uh, that will be the seeds of, uh, uh, of promise that will start to bring resolution to some of these intractable problems here. We can't solve all the problems, but those children may.